Several questions came in online, you know, because we put the post up about it, Warren. But uh, I like this one from Connor. We'll not give you a surname. But uh, what's your take on uh, Glen Torn losing their appeal on the Gary <coughs> Hamilton uh, issue? It's a difficult one, to be honest. I think it's been been quite long um, in coming. And you pick up the papers, and that's all that's in it. And listen, I can understand the Glen's frustration. I get sent off, um, I think it was the week before Gary gets sent off and I didn't get produced a red card. I was just told to leave where Gary gets sent off and was produced a red card. So I think uh, under the rules, I think if you're sent off as a manager or if you get sent off as a player, a red card shown, you're banned as a player. And I'll obviously played the next week. And listen, I think the Glens, to be honest, have a good case. But you know, I'm sure Glen Avon as well will be looking and saying they've done nothing wrong and, it, and it's a tough one. Um, we're in a situation of sales where we're more on point and, and code rain this Saturday, you know, I think our game's been been postponed now. Um and you know, it's where they're legal teams and look we're the ones who are suffering at the moment. But I think there's I think that needs to be clarified these rules. Um the start of the season, brought in everyone, this is the way it's gonna go because there's been too many um things went on this season that really it's taken they're talking about that instead of the football and that's a disappointing thing. I suppose that is a disappointing thing too often and it's been the case for years and years, the fact that we have issues of players registered, not registered, etc. the teams losing points, etc. You know, hard enough to earn the points on the field to play without getting caught up with uh, bureaucracy, isn't it? Oh definitely and you ask a manager at the end of the day he's there to pick the team and manage manage the football side. But you know, it's out of his hands whenever things like this happen, and you know they're they're the ones that suffer, and that, that, that's a frustrating point. You know, touch wood, it's not going to happen to us. But um, you know, at the end of the day, you ask a manager, they want to get out there, win the three points, or win the game, and then you know all this controversy comes around. It's, it's not healthy for the league or for the clubs. What were you saying about the issue at the weekend, though? Our game, um, obviously, with the Warren Point situation, they have a guy who's played or registered for three different clubs in the one season. We play them in the Irish Cup, but I think now nah, it's it's been brought up as he's ineligible, so they've postponed our game now. We've got to play it on the 16th on the Monday, but it's between Coleray and Moran Point, and under the rules, I don't know what the outcome can be, but it's just a setback for us because we're building up all week, focusing on the Irish Cup game, and then all of a sudden it gets called off, so we've got to, we've got to suffer, really. Um, and you know where I, I, we haven't went two weeks. We had a game already, and obviously with the two games, Ballon and Muller in the space of six days. But they go another week. We had a game. You know, it's just another backlog for us, um, and it's something out of our hands. It disappoints me. But you know, it's between the the league, the two clubs, to get this sorted. Um, and you know, it's, it's a difficult one to be honest because I can feel for both sides. But as I say, it's going to be a big outcome on it. You talk about a setback. It's a bit of a blow for Warren Point if it goes against them. It is definitely. You know. They're fantastic. I think they've won defeat in 11 games, so I'm sure they'll be coming to Windsor Park. Well, we're coming to Windsor Park on Saturday, you know, full of confidence. But, as I say, do you want to keep momentum going? And, you know, Barry's a fantastic fella, um, same as Ornan. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's one that we've just got to see the outcome and wait.